Chris Scally um, from River Through Atlanta. He's taking us out for just a quick trip today. <gasps> what? Do you see what I see? <laughs> oh, he must, have already... he must be running back up here. Mm -hmm. Maybe he has a motor. Mm -hmm. Parking cars with trailers. Give us a rundown of uh, how you felt. We, we just came from eating on the Chattahoochee, a little further down, I would assume. Yeah, this and is insane, because we just came. Super, super, super muddy. Yeah, maybe we'll post a picture. I have, I have pictures. Um, it was seriously just straight mud, two inches of visibility. And now, take a little peek over there. You can see rocks on the bottom. Like, it's, it's clear. All right, let's find Chris. I'm pumped. Cause I like trout and I didn't think we were gonna catch any, but now I'm feeling optimistic. I've never caught a brown trout. So So we shall see. Maybe. Sam and let him finish okay. the job off. So That's excellent. Yeah. Okay. Who were you guys catching on this morning? Uh mostly on San Juan worms. Okay. Awesome. Yep. On fly ride? Uh yes. Sweet. Alrighty, yep. we'll get we'll get our gear. Okay. You want it? Sure. Now that you're just putting a leader on. What's that? With that, you're just putting a leader on. Right, and then right. You'll... So, so what'll happen is you'll, you know, you'll reduce your leader as you go through flies, and then yeah. eventually, you know, we're going to be able to repair what you've got left here. You know, it's important that it's got the stiffness. You're transitioning from the fly line to mono, so it needs to have the stiffness so it doesn't hinge, yeah. and it's more aerodynamic. And uh, but then as we go through the tip of the leader or the tippet of the leader. We go through flies, we reduce the length of the leader, and then, you know, to try to match up the tippet with the hook size to make the fly look natural. Now, we'll be able to get away with the heavy tippet out here just because the water is murky. And so it's actually perfect. And um, so with this, I wouldn't bother with this false cast business. Okay. okay, it's a waste of time. This is like a glorified cane pole now that we have a bobber and we have two weighted flies. Yeah. And so my suggestion is what we call a windshield wiper cast. So we're coming back to three or four o'clock and then just simply dropping each forward cast. You start cast to see the bike in order to sit. Yeah, baby. That didn't take long, did it? No, it did not. <laughs> Unreal. And, oh man, I thought it was a brown. I thought it was. It's a really pretty color rainbow. Wow. I haven't, this is the first rainbow of the trip. New species. Hey, dude, dude. Way awesome. to go. Way to go. Also, look, the hook just fell out of his mouth. Wow. Got him marked up in the app now. This is the first rainbow of the Angler Tour. Oh, and there he goes. There he goes. Beautiful. Let's we got go. him marked up. One more species. One more species. Excellent. Excellent. It can swing a little bit. And so when that line starts to belly left or right, get it, buddy. Ooh, that was, that was nice. good, good. Good. Go, go one more straight across. Get the rest of that line out. You're, you're, you're running into a nice channel here. A nice cast. Cool. Yeah, baby. There we go. Brown. Coming at you. I really love the sand horn in here. Oh, Started him on in. Beautiful. Gorgeous rainbow trout. Hoping to get our first brown here soon. And they are just such fun fighters eating the San Juan worm. You guys are going to have to check for details in our uh, blog page at angler.com slash tour. We're going to get this guy back in the water. Another beautiful rainbow. Excellent. Out here on the Chattahoochee. Although we do have 
great water temperature. We got consistent water temperature on the river, so that um, throughout the um, year, throughout the year, That's our annual average water temp is 56 degrees. It's 48 coming out of the dam right now. By the time it gets here, we're like 51, 52. Nice. Good pictures, no point being risky. <laughs> awesome, thank you. <laughs> Another beautiful rainbow trout here. This is the third fish of the day already. We've been fishing for, what would you say, Chris, about 20, 20 yeah, minutes 20, or so? 30 20, 30 minutes. Sure. minutes. Um, they're just fun little fish. I like to go airborne, so haven't quite seen the jump yet, but mark this guy on the bullseye. Got him in the app. Get him to release. And thank you, Chris, for putting us on the other fish. Absolutely, man. The bobber and the fly line. Good, good. Stay on it, buddy. Get ready, get ready. Excellent. Yep. Oh. Get him, get him. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yep. Ooh, yep. Brown. Hey, little oh, rainbow. rainbow. Beautiful, man. That's what I'm talking about. That was quick. That was perfect. So guys, I gave Alex the rod because he hasn't caught a trout on a fly rod yet. And there it is, yeah, first one in the boat. here with uh, River Through Atlanta. Uh, we're from the Angler Tour team. And uh, absolutely got a, a perfect rainbow here. And uh, we're gonna get her back in the water. All right, here's a release. Perfect. How'd that feel? That was awesome. Let's do it again. Man, this is the life. Alex gets to run the camera, and now he also has to catch the fish. Like another rainbow? Yep. And that's more than anything in case we hit something because you're just moving constantly in the river. You don't realize it, but we're moving. A little better fish. Yeah. We're getting bigger. Cool spots on the bottom. That's something you don't see very often. Sorry. Very no, good. These spots down here. That's really cool. Well, this day was, I'm gonna have to talk loud because it's really raining a lot, as you can see. Um, we fished for just over, actually not even two hours. Um, we caught seven rainbows, missed one big brown on a streamer. It was, it was pretty crazy, honestly. I mean, I wish we had a full day on this river because it was just fish after fish while we were nymph fishing. Um, we saw the storm rolling in, so we decided, hey, we gotta, we got some nymph footage. We need to go for a big fish now. So we both switched to streamers. We both had a few chasers. I had one try and crush mine. That was pretty good size. Um, and then the rain came, lightning came, and we decided this isn't safe anymore. So we had to call it um, two hours in, but overall I'd say it was a really fun trip. And this is just something that's gonna happen on the tour. You know, We'll have some funny stories about the rain in the vlog. So make sure you guys are checking out the vlog there checking out the tour page to see the track that we fished on today, all the waypoints, the honey holes that we dropped. Um, tour is located at angler.com slash tour, so make sure you guys are looking that up, giving us feedback. We love feedback, so anytime you have someone to say to us, good or bad, terrible, brilliant, um, let us know, because we'll take it to heart, we'll fix it for the next episode, and just don't tell us to 
be out here fishing in the lightning because we can't do that. Come on. So it's just really talk through some knots, talk through some flies, techniques. 